Hey there, it's Sue and Defon. We try to do it all. Always. Today, we're going to switch it up a little bit. So I'm going to be asking Defon some questions. And today the topic is, um, what do you love about, about black women? And why do you love black women? And I guess just what your experience has been in dating black women. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> But first, I would like to do a little disclaimer um, by saying <laughs> um, that we do not condone stereotyping. So, you know, you may hear some things that could possibly be stereotyping. And I think it's just natural for us as people to form our knowledge and opinions based on things that we know from the past. But it doesn't mean that we shouldn't be intentional and proactive about um, learning more about the things that we don't know. For the record, both of us really hate being stereotyped. Um, I'm not a stereotypical Asian by many stretch. Well, in other ways I am, but we really don't like to stereotype people, but it's a fact of life and we do it. We're guilty of it as well, but we make a conscious effort to try to avoid that. Okay, with that said, you don't necessarily have to use this information um, to base your opinions on every black woman because every black woman is not going to be like what he's experienced. So, and so things have changed. His, this is just his experience, one man's experience. And things have changed quite a bit in the last 30 years. What was your experience as a Chinese immigrant dating black women? Well, you start with the heavy one. <laughs> um, so I've uh, I've tried to forget for a time that I was a Ch Chinese immigrant, uh, largely because all the stereotypical views on immigrants uh, FOB fresh off the boat, if you didn't know. So it was hard to integrate into American society and just to be viewed and treated as an American. Um, so I try not to think of myself as an immigrant until later on in life. But I would say that it was actually probably easier uh, to be an immigrant trying to fit into a black uh, culture and a black community than it would ever was for me, at least for me, to into the white community. I came to this country when I was 15 and I went to a, at first I went to a prep school and then I dropped out. So I had first had a lot of contact with uh, various kind of uh, white people. This is about early 90s to mid 90s, so you know. And they were not very, mostly not very accepting. Uh, I made some friends, but mostly I'd say 80% are not super accepting. They were not super mean to me, but they were not accepting. Let's just keep uh, put it that way. But it was easier to find acceptance in uh, in black in black communities and black culture. I, I would have to say that I was a lot less accepted by black men than black women for some reason, and that may have formed. Uh, the basis why I've always stayed a black woman because in a way when you are if you are like you said if you were fresh off the boat immigrant you didn't have much money didn't have any connections and largely most of the people I were able to find today were black women okay. all right so next question okay so how do you think society views views you um, as a Chinese-born man versus a American-born Chinese man? Well, that's uh, that's kind of difficult to to say because I don't really know how people look at me versus look at someone uh, that was born here. But I can tell you from my experience, uh, it's very difficult to act or to appear as American born if you're not born here. There's a lot of nuances in language and the culture that you're not gonna get uh, if you weren't born here. And you even remind me that sometimes. I work with, I work with other, other Chinese that were born in China, came over and uh, went to school and went to grad school even, well-educated, well-spoken, but there are small things that they can't get. So I, I give you, so I tried really hard from the beginning to try to fit in because I was conscious that if I didn't appear to be native to this country, I was not going to be accepted. Um, so it's, it's a barrier being Chinese to begin with. This is in the mid to late 90s and 
it was a, it was better to be Asian to begin with, and it will be much harder if I appear to not have been born here. So uh, I, my first job, I worked in the food court. You know, in Philly, there's this underground mall called the Gallery. It's not the Gallery anymore. It's the Fashion District now. But it used to be a food court downstairs, and I worked in the uh, Cajun Grill. It, it's a, it's basically a fast food restaurant that sells uh, chicken. And I was one of the guys that would go out with a tray and give out samples. And they're like, try some, try some. That's a, that's what I did. Uh, so I remember this instance where I tried really hard to understand the people. There's so this is the subway goes through there. There's a lot of black people that always come come into to the food court, and I always felt kind of uh, uncomfortable not being able to fit into the crowd. So I tried really, really hard. And on top of that, this is, I probably never told you this story. There's a girl I really liked that worked, worked at Chick, Chick-fil-A. You told and, me. Oh, I did, okay. So I tried to really belong into the culture. So I go, I, I and I like kind of rap and hip hop a little bit anyway. So I tried to pick up language and try to pick up turns to try to fit in. And so one day I was held, holding the chicken and this guy was came and took a piece and he wanted to took like two second and third piece. So I tried him to stop, uh, I tried to stop him from eating the whole tray without pain. And uh, he said something to me and I, and I just, I just looked at him and say, chill bro, chill. <laughs> and he looked at me like, I know you talk like that. <laughs> now this is, this is 20, this is 25 years ago. So I still had a lot heavier accent. So I, I remember that like yesterday, just the look that he gave me is like, where did that come from? And uh, he thought about it for a minute and they started laughing that we actually got pretty friendly. Um, so. <laughs> okay. All right, bro. Okay. All right. Ready for your next question? Yes. Okay. Um, how did your family view your dating preferences? Um, man, you're gonna hold me to that one. Uh, what do you think? How do you think my family? It ain't about what I think. <laughs> uh, well, I think uh, my mom has taken always. My parents have taken. Well, my dad really never said much about that, but my mom talks, speaks a lot on various subject, and she's kind of judgmental, like many Chinese moms are. They call Tiger Mom for a reason, uh, but she's come to a point where she says she accepts anyone I want to be with as long as uh, as uh, I'm happy and I would say I believe her but maybe a part of the influence is that we have three kids and together and um, maybe she needs to accept it or you know there will be no other choice she has to accept it but um, she didn't really give me a hard time the first time I told her I dated outside of my race uh, this is largely because my mom is quite different than uh, average Chinese mom she sent me here. She agreed to send me here when I was 15 because she wanted me to be in a different society. I don't think she really understood what it meant to be American or what America was like, but she did not want me to be in China. So with that background, with that mindset, then of course when I got here, I had to date someone who isn't Chinese. And for years, she's discouraged me from dating Chinese, largely because she said Chinese people, Chinese women are too submissive. See, stereotyping, they're not all submissive. As a matter of fact, I tell you all the time, they're not submissive at all. Mm -hmm. uh, we can talk about that in a second. The Chinese, Chinese women, again, stereotyping, Chinese women actually mostly run the households. They're not submissive, the husbands are, but we just don't know that. I think for appear in a broader society people tend to think that Chinese women are docile or so and there it's not true at all that's that's that just shows you how bad stereotyping is but anyways um, my mom wanted me to uh, sort of fit into a foreign society and not just be a Chinese in America and live in Chinatown and speak Chinese so ever since I was young she's encouraged me to do that although I would have to be open and honest that I think she meant to date white women <laughs> not to date black women it's just so when i so i guess when i went back to and told her for the first time that i'm dating outside of my race she was both relieved and maybe alarmed at the same time so but she's come to grown that and even with you you know i don't know if you want to talk about that at some point or not but you guys had your friction since she got here but um but she's come to accept you as a loving person there's certain things that about you that she doesn't like but 
there's many more things about me that she doesn't like. So, so I think she's gotten over that. But if you want to say on the on in general, how would a black person be received as a, you know, black woman be received as a, uh, as someone who dates a Chinese man? I think that's still pretty hard even today, because in Chinese culture and maybe in other Asian culture as well. When you a woman marries into a man's family, not the other way around. So once, and I remember she telling you that, and she always tells me that that once you married me, you are part of this family. You are her daughter. So um, the clashes, and then there's so much hierarchy and the respect between the elder generation and the younger ones. So if you, it, 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 the culture differences can be understood as you're not being respectful, mm -hmm. and then that's really that's really offensive to a chi older Chinese lady. Mm -hmm. Um, so that that's probably one of the more difficult ones. Um, to to say the stereotype, and maybe you asked as well, but Chinese people do discriminate against blacks quite a bit for various reasons. It's not um, it's not strictly. I think it's based on race, but it's not strictly racism. I, I don't I don't necessarily think all Chinese think that they're better than blacks, as many white people probably think at some point. But it's uh, it's more about it's more culture than race, but it just so happened to manifest on, on the racial divide. She disagrees. What do you mean? Don't stereotype, you said. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, next question. What advice would you give a young Chinese guy who wants to date black women? A young Chinese guy. I don't know how to give advice to young Chinese guys about anything, <laughs> because well, for first of all, as go back to your first question, there's the Chinese-born Chinese guy, and there's the Chinese American-born Chinese. And many in American-born Chinese actually want to date black women, or uh, or mixed women, or uh, or white women. But I, I actually think that a lot of Chinese guys really want to date outside of their race, um, because if you were born, like I said. There's a chip on your shoulder if you're born here, as, as far as what I can observe since I wasn't born here. But as a generalization, I feel that if you if uh, if a Chinese is born here, they have to fight really hard to get beyond the, the fresh off the boat perspective. They want people to accept them as Americans. So one of the things to do is to get beyond the culture, to, to be a part of uh, American society. There's only one, two percent Chinese or Asian population. So uh, it makes sense to kind of broaden your reach. So there is a phenomenon, um, obviously it's through my eyes, I'm a biased observer, but a lot of Chinese women nowadays date white men and they marry white men. Um, you know, I, I can't speak, I'm not a white man, I can't speak what's so attractive about dating or marrying you know, uh, Chinese women, but it seems like a lot of interracial dating on as far as Chinese goes are is Chinese women with uh, white men. There's some amount of Chinese men and white women, but not so much. So we, I had read an interesting article, and uh, uh, I think a few months ago about the the Chinese men are in, not really in a good place in dating or Asian men in general because the Chinese women tend to date interracial and and not look upon favorably of uh, of Asian men, but Asian men is not accepted by other races as well. So that's a little bit tough. So I would say back to your original question. Uh, if you are a young Asian man and Chinese, any any Asian who want to date um, a black woman, mm -hmm. you should have to take the first initiative. I've uh, for years, it was really difficult for me because it just it, for all the black women that are watching this, if you see an Asian man walking down the street and smile at you, would you ever think that they think? you're pretty or you're hot, you're attractive, and they want to talk to you. How many of you would think that? And what if they do? Maybe they smile at you and say hi, and you just think, oh, maybe he works at a store <laughs> there, right? Mm -hmm. So I think for black women, you can, I can, I, I answer some of the comments as well. You can be open-minded, but you don't know what to do, right? It's, it's hard enough for women. You don't want to be the one who's out there approaching people and act like you are approaching men that may be interested in you. And it's even harder to guess what Asian men really want, right? And if you, it's really embarrassing if you want to misunderstood and and just 
out of tradition or whatnot and Chinese people are still also tradition and traditional as well so maybe women are not expected to approach the men so if a Chinese man wants to date anyone not not just black women or white women or Asian women they should take the initiative but for all the women should understand that it's hard for Chinese men because I gotta tell you I this is a running joke if we all go to a crowded bar to get served I'm the last one to ever get attention of the bartender and this is a this is always the case. Sometimes I have to tell the people next to me and try to get me a drink because people just skip me, especially women. Believe that. that. Can, can you believe that? Hmm. So, um, I I would have to say it's been thirty some years or oh, twenty some years that I've been here, and the only times that anyone has ever stopped me in the middle of the street and tell me hi or say something about me on a personal or possibly attractive level had been 99% black women and they don't even know I date black women. Um, so remember to like, subscribe, share and once again you know ask any questions that you might have, leave comments. Um, we love to interact with you guys. And so thank you for listening and uh, I will see you soon. Yeah. Bye. Bye.